It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, everyone, Democrats have retained control of the Senate. I, uh, I, I don't know if that's really official, but we're not a real news program, so <laughs> I, I'm just going to call it. Um, I was actually surprised they won given President Biden's low approval ratings. I guess Biden's kind of like the Jurassic World movies, you know, extremely successful despite a 42% rating. <laughs> Republicans, by the way, are not taking it well. Tucker Carlson, seen here struggling to make it through No Nut November. <laughs> he criticized, he criticized the voting, pro you guys are all doing it too, okay. <laughs> criticized the voting process and called electronic voting machines a threat to democracy. I'm actually not that worried about the voting machines. I'm worried that they're being operated by the oldest people I've ever seen. <laughs> Truly this year, the woman who gave me my ballot was wearing two stickers, one that said I voted and another that said I survived the Titanic. <laughs> The key Senate race in Georgia between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker will move on to a runoff in December, but Walker has offered Warnock $500 to just, you know, take care of it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Many black voters in Georgia were frustrated with another runoff election because the burden of saving the Senate fell on them once again. It's happened so often, there's already a movie about it. <laughs> In a, in a speech yesterday, Herschel Walker called America the greatest country in the United States. <laughs> but on the plus side, at least he has a general idea of where he is. <laughs> Walker then apologized for misspeaking, saying, I know I'm not always the sharpest tool in the refrigerator. <laughs> Senator Mark Kelly defeated challenger Blake Masters in the Arizona Senate race. Masters can now return to his true passion of, I'm going to guess, strangling hitchhikers? <laughs> President Biden said that he plans to run again in 2024, but won't make a final decision until early next year, because it's like his doctor told him, I wouldn't plan too far ahead. <laughs> After this year's elections, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors, <laughs> while, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> A 25-year-old from Florida will become the first Gen Z member of Congress. Younger, said Matt Gates. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch this week officially turned on Donald Trump. First, the New York Post ran a cover calling Ron DeSantis Ron De Future, even though Ron De Future sounds more like a drag queen from outer space. <laughs> Then on Thursday, the Post showed Donald Trump as an egg sitting on a wall with the headline Trumpty Dumpty, which had to be the easiest Photoshop job in history. <laughs> and now Trump is threatening to reveal unflattering information about Ron DeSantis. For example, did you know Ron DeSantis is in charge of a state where some maniac was hiding stolen nuclear secrets? <laughs> Apple is saying that COVID in China <laughs> Apple is saying that COVID in China has led to a slowdown in iPhone production. Wow. So I guess the new variant does affect children. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love this crowd. <laughs> Nearly half a billion dollars was spent in California on campaigns aimed at legalizing sports gambling online, but failed by a wide margin, said supporters of the bill. OK, double or nothing. <laughs> Exit polls from this year's midterms show that Latinos were a larger share of the electorate than ever before. Here to tell us why he was inspired to one day run for president is Jose Suarez. Buenas noches, Colin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome, Jose. So do you think of yourself as a Republican or a Democrat? I'm just happy to be here, Colin. <laughs> Everybody complaining all the time about everything. Guess what? 
is fine. Everything is basically fine. And that's going to be my campaign slogan. Jose Suarez, everything is basically fine. So relax, okay? It's fine. Wow, well, that, that is a refreshing outlook. Yes, exactly, Colin. What do people complain about anyway? My gas is too expensive. Newsflash, ever heard of legs? My mother walked almost 100 miles to work every day, and her left leg didn't work. She had to pull it. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't make any sense. And inflation, Colin. Everybody complain inflation is so bad. The price of milk is too high. How about just don't drink milk? <laughs> Who's even complaining about the price of milk? The babies? <laughs> Do you drink milk, Colin? I mean, maybe just a warm glass before bed. <laughs> and the Wi-Fi, Colin. Everybody complain, ooh, the Wi-Fi is too slow, the Wi-Fi. My poor little Wi-Fi. I don't think that's a major complaint. <laughs> Growing up in Cuba, Colin, there was no Wi-Fi. It was only why. Why is it so hot? Why did the power go out? Why is the president taking all our stuff? <laughs> Colin, if you want something in America, you press a button on your phone and Jeff Bezos send it to your house. What are we complaining about? Can we go back and say you were born in Cuba? Well, then you can't run for president, right? <laughs> I don't think anybody really gonna care about that, Colin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are, but let's just talk about some of your positions. Like, what are your thoughts on Roe versus Wade? Well, I say Roe if you can, but if you don't have a vote, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Colin, I'm just kidding. All I know is if I am the president, every mother gonna get one chancleta. And, and, and what is a chancleta, Jose? And what is a chancleta, Jose? <laughs> it's a sandal, Colin. <laughs> and what is a mother going to do with one sandal? You never know. That's the scary part. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even have to use it. They just show it, send a message, and they put it away. <laughs> what you say to me? That's what I thought. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I will remember that. My one-year-old has been acting up. So, so, Jose, what is your final message to the American people? That we should all be grateful, Colin. This is a great country, and I think we need to remember how lucky we really are. That's, that's true. Although it does seem like you're kind of ignoring some pretty real problems in the country. You know? What did you say to me, Colin? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I thought. Jose Suarez, everyone. Oh, Jose, God bless Miami. Archaeologists in Egypt have discovered a tunnel that they think leads to the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra. Cleopatra is, of course, the enchanting queen who seduced both Mark Anthony and Julius Caesar. I assume because she's really funny or something? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a woman in Delaware won $400,000 after hitting back-to-back -back lottos in the same day. But the woman says she's still going to keep her day job forging lottery tickets. <laughs> the, U the U.S. Air Force is denying that its pilots intentionally flew a flight path that created a giant penis pointed at Russia. <laughs> Even worse, they then fired missiles. A white student at the University of Kentucky was arrested after she was caught on video using a racial slur and assaulting two black students. She has been charged with one count of impersonating a police officer. <laughs> A 10-year-old boy in Florida faces misdemeanor battery charges after he allegedly touched a teacher's breast. Because under Florida law, students are required to wait for their teacher to make the first move. <laughs> well, guys, we're six shows into the new season. Here to discuss a personal gripe with me is our very own Sarah Sherman. <laughs> God, what did I do now? None of these jokes are about me. It's all midterms this, Trump that, but what about Sarah? We can't do jokes about you, Sarah. But I can, and I'm gonna do them all here right now.
You, you brought your own set? Of course I did, because yours looks ugly. I'm Sarah, and this is the Sarah News. A, a tunnel below Niagara Falls recently opened to the public for the first time in over a century. A musty old tunnel letting people back in after years of disuse? I can only hope, said my boyfriend. <laughs> That's right, America, I have a boyfriend. Don't let the queer haircut fool you, honey. I'm as straight as Michael Che's update persona. <laughs> suspended Twitter's paid verification system. Well, I guess the only check mark next to my name will be the one on Kanye's list of Jews to keep an eye on. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I, I think that's enough jokes about Sarah. Bro, I'm only gonna say this once. Stop touching my leg under the table. <laughs> I'm not doing that. It's time for World News. story on, whoa, Pennsylvania! <laughs> Point in the middle of the ocean. Okay. What are you, a geographer? Relax, bro. <laughs> in Pennsylvania news, Senator-elect and big, gorgeous monster John Fetterman <laughs> has received criticism for his casual dress. And I agree. Those cargo shorts and hoodies don't belong on the Senate floor. They belong crumpled up on my bedroom floor. <laughs> Hachi machi. Thanksgiving must have come early this year because that hunk is giving the turkey waddle between my legs something to be thankful for. <laughs> God, that, that is disgusting. Somebody's jealous. <laughs> Speaking of disgusting, I recently had an allergic reaction that made my face look like this. But on the bright side, now I have a picture to show the HR lady when she asks, what did Colin ever do to you? <laughs> Sarah, that is horrible. All right, we have to end this. Why, so you can get back to like whatever this crap is. Wait, what? Hey, guys, by the way, these aren't notes. They're just Colin's little drawings of me. <laughs> you planted that. Sarah Sherman, everyone. <laughs> we get up there, I'm Colin Joe. I'm Michael Che, good night.